Howdy folks, this is Bill Owen with Alder Color Solutions. I wanted to talk about the color settings in Adobe Creative Cloud products, but I just wanted to give you a, a quick tutorial on how to find the latest Grackle and Swap ICC profiles and how to get them into your Creative Cloud. I'm using Photoshop, and if you click on the Edit pull-down menu and go to Color Settings, you'll see that I have mine configured with this Grackle 2013 CMYK reference ICC uh, profile, which is a CRPC6, which stands for Characterization Reference Print Condition. Now this profile is not in the list here when you download Photoshop and install it, so I'm gonna show you how you find it and how you get it installed. So you're going to go to this URL right here from Idea Alliance, the uh, idealliance.org slash specifications slash grackle. And you're going to scroll down and you're going to see grackle slash swap 2013 profiles. So you're going to click on that and follow the instructions. You might have to set up an account and add them to your cart, but they're free. It's zero dollars. And then you'll get an email uh, with a download link and you'll download your profiles. This is what you'll get. You'll get this folder and inside this folder you'll have these profiles. Now let's go back to Photoshop and let's pretend you are on the default settings which are a North American general purpose which uses these very old outdated profiles and you need to update your CMYK reference so click on that and then scroll to the top and click load CMYK then you're going to navigate to your download and you're going to grab your new Grackle 2013 CRPC 6 and load that. Boom. Now it's there in your, your list. Okay, now you can choose it, right? It wasn't there before. Your Adobe, um, your RGB, I'm sorry, is uh, set by default to this sRGB profile, which is a very small RGB profile that's really meant for like web or video. And you really should change that to the Adobe RGB profile. And that's right here, Adobe RGB 1998. This is a much better RGB gamut for you to work in. Um, your gray should be set to gray gamma 2.2 and leave your spot on uh, dot gain 20%. Now these color management policies below, um, you can choose to preserve embedded profiles. And what that means is when you open somebody else's file, it may have an embedded profile in it. If you got a file from me, it would probably have one of these um, ICC profiles embedded in that file and you might want to honor and preserve that embedded profile. Uh, you can certainly choose to just convert everything to your working color space which is now Adobe RGB or convert to your CMYK working space of Grackle 2013 CRPC 6. Now this is the current specification for sheet fed printing. So you really should be using this CMYK color space if you're sending work to a sheet fed printer. Now, if you're sending work to a web printer, you'd want this to be swap. So there's our swap profile that we downloaded. Um, now, in, in both of these cases, you should probably set up a preset or a custom preset. So uh, for this swap setting, I would click save over here and I'll just name this swap. 2013 C3 for coded 3 and you can put a note in here if you want you don't have to boom now I have a preset for swap so that way if I'm working on files that are going to a web printer I'll use these settings and then if I want to go to another file that I'm sending to a sheet fed printer I'll go back and choose my grackle settings and say okay boom all right, so now when you save a file, it's going to embed those new ICC profiles that you just configured. I hope that helps. If you would like more training on color management, or if you'd like to attend a color boot camp, visit our website at aldertech.com. And if you shoot me an email at billo at aldertech.com, I can even just email you these ICC profiles if you have trouble finding them. Thanks again, folks.